Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back to the ROM review, this time featuring Jelly Bam. So let's get started. Okay, so this ROM Jelly Bam for the Nexus S is based on Android 4.2.1, as you can see here, 4.2.1, which means that you'll have all your lock screen widgets that you might want. Uh, so you can see I have a clock widget. Not sure why it shows up. It kind of shows up a little weird there. Uh, but you can swipe over and just like all the reviews for Android 4.2, you have your lock screen widgets. Next, we'll talk about this. When you hit the home button, you are greeted with the option to go to the TouchWiz Home or Trebuchet, which this is pretty much a stock Android launcher with some additional settings. And this is for the most part TouchWiz Home. So I'll go ahead and show you this in the beginning. So as you can see, we have a TouchWiz like home with infinite scrolling and a TouchWiz like UI. We can go to apps and as you can see, it looks just like TouchWiz. You don't scroll over to the widgets. You have to hit the widgets to go there and we'll take a look at the widgets here. You have your uh, AccuWeather clock, your AOKP, uh, AOKP clock, your Cronus clock and weather widget, performance monitor, uh, you have play recommendations, uh, ROM control. So you basically you have all your regular widgets with some added ones because of the ROM. Then you can check out your downloaded apps right here, which I don't have any, so it's not letting me click there. And we'll take a look at the apps that come installed, which is Awesome Beats to enhance your music experience. You can go ahead and play around with equalizer settings. Mod My Droid is basically a news type of app, uh, requires internet, so you open it up and it'll bring up some news. So as you can see, you can see it loading up back here. It's talking about the Galaxy S4 event, uh, March 14th, by the way, uh, March 14th is the announcement for the Galaxy S4 in New York at, I believe, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S., just in case you're interested. So that's what that is. So as you can see, it kind of has trouble getting back, and it uh, it lags a little bit and hangs. you got to move it around, and it'll come back. Uh, rescan media boot, uh, media root. So if you're having trouble with your, uh, with your SD card or since the Nexus doesn't have one, uh, what would be the SD card? You can go ahead and rescan and I believe it's supposed to search for errors and stuff like that. Task manager, just exactly what it sounds like. As you can see, I had to click it twice. Um, it's like the Samsung task manager. It shows you active applications. You can exit them individually or exit all. System UI, of course, will start back up. You can see you're downloaded your RAM, clear the memory, go to storage, check out internal and external storage. So it's nice that they've added a task manager. Update me, which is what this guy is up here. It's telling me I have a new update. So it's an OTA update for the ROM, just like CM10, stock Android, iOS. It's over the air updates for uh, the ROM, which is sort of nice. So if you wanna go ahead and check out a new ROM, it'll check and you can download the new ROM version and then check out the change log and things like that. Exposed app settings is something, in my opinion, I don't see a lot of people using. We have Apollo here, as you can see. You can toggle the tablet mode, uh, change the DPI, the language. So some stuff, some people might uh, use this, some people might not. Uh, in my opinion, I wouldn't ever use it. Then we have Exposed Installer, which another thing I'm not going to use. I'm not even familiar with the interface. Now, before this gets uh, too long, I'll go into settings and just take a look from the bottom up about Jelly Bean will take you to this little page. You can donate and check out their website, stuff like that. You have your about phone, 4.2.1. Performance control, so it allows you to overclock, underclock, things like that. You have your advanced, free memory, so that's that's nice. Disable Mina scanner, if we hit that, which, sorry, takes you to this, which is the media scanner I was talking about earlier. DPI settings will take you to the exposed app settings. Uh, sign engine mod settings, of course, it'll take you to the sign engine mod settings where you can customize your widget for Cronus, your lock screen security, button actions, hardware keys. I'm not going to go over or in depth with all of these because the review would take too long. Now, in ROM control or AOKP settings, you have your system. You customize the LED uh, on the bottom. You have your status bar toggles. You can change which one of these. Oops. You can change which one of these toggle on or off, uh, which ones are there order, things like that, navigation bar, you tweak the navigation bar, the, the colors. This is something I wish stock Android had is you could change your navigation bar colors as well as change the LED light, for example, the Nexus 4 since it's down here. It would be nice if stock Android had that. So power menu, you can change which options come up when you hit this, when you get to this menu. 
And then just in general and about AOKP stuff. Uh, you have profiles like CM10 comes with or CM10.1. You got your wallpapers, which I already took a quick look at and the how to install. And then you just have your themes. So in my experience, I haven't, since I don't use this as my daily device anymore, since I do have a Nexus 4, uh, the ROM has been okay. It's not that great. I guess maybe out of a 10, I'd give it maybe a 6. I feel like a 6 because there's been some lag time to time just going back to the home screen it might have to do with the TouchWiz home by the way taking up some some space there going in and out of the app drawer can feel a little slow sometimes and as you can see here for i don't know why it changes the background and it messes up these icons up here hopefully this update that i haven't installed might fix that so if you want to feel a little daring and you want to check it out go ahead and do that uh, but i hope you enjoyed if you did give me a like don't forget to subscribe down there or somewhere after uh, up here in the video and if you have any suggestions, don't forget to leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.